the Canyon Spectral on. Punch out like laps for one and a half hour. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. I'm back home and I'm back at my home trails. And as you've probably seen from the, the title, got something pretty cool to show you. So, um, um, I've, I've been owning this e-bike for a little bit already, but um, I wasn't really finished with the right products on it and stuff. But we finally got it figured out, finally got it all bolded build, build up. So um, it's ready to show. So here she is, the Canyon Spectral on. This is in medium frame. So I'm gonna do a quick bike check of all of the parts and what I run and why I run it. So let's get into it and um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let's uh, let's get into the details of this build. So as I said. Heart of the bike, Canyon Spectra arm. It got the, it's the medium frame, so it's a bit smaller, um, but I like it, especially for e-bike. I think a smaller frame is definitely the way to go. I'm 174 centimeters. So um, for you guys out there wondering how tall I am, I'm 174 centimeters. Uh, I don't know what that in UK or American size is, but you can probably figure that out for if you want to purchase this bike yourself. Um, so that's pretty cool. Got the our signature. I don't like cycling uphill. Stick on there, just <laughs> just for the shits and giggles. Um, of course, this e-bike is uh, super good on the climb, so that's pretty nice. Um, of course, we got it in in boost mode all the time. I don't know why my GoPro is like um, showing this a bit, the screen's a bit weird, but in real life it's 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 like this, um, it's, or it's, it's, it's good. Um, we got the base stem from reverse on there, 40 mil length, bolted onto this Nico Vink reverse handlebar as well, cut to 750. Um, Super good setup. This is the roll for any of you guys wondering what the roll is. Um, got it quite slammed down, as you can tell. Um, really loving that setup. Um, then we got some sand hit hand guards, left and right. I got them in the in the wider position so that they are like nice and wide compared to the grip. So if if it hits something. It doesn't hit my my finger, the, my little pinky finger. So that's quite nice. We got the Erlend 38 RXF 38 Model 2 up front. Super good. I love it. Um, it's been tuned by Plush Rides. If you guys want to check him out, I'll put a link here. I'll put his website here, or you can just go into the description and you can check it out. For all the Dutch, Belgium, and German people, uh, if you want to check it out and want to get your service tuned or get yourself a pair of these forks, you can order at his place. Um, super good stuff. Onto the front wheel, we got the reverse aircon, 203 mil discs on there. Loving this these discs. The ventilation actually works very good. Especially if it's hot and if it's um, long descent, um, super good stuff. Got the trusty Magic Mary Ultra Soft downhill casing tire on the front, and um, um, suspension-wise, I'm basically running a low speed and high compression, basically as much open as possible, uh, I think, or fairly open. And then for the rebound, I'm somewhere in the middle. Um, working our way back, we got the Erdens Air Shock on here as well. Um, I got this thing set up all the way um, close for the high speed compression. Because um, I, yeah, because the e bike is quite heavy, I like to have quite a lot of high speed compression. And then for the low speed compression, 
I'm somewhere in the middle and then for the rebound I'm quite open as well so it's quite fast which I like then moving our way back we got the reverse AM seat on there I've been using this seat for quite a bit of time so as you can see the the it has some has some marks on it but super good seat has a nice um, and soft padding on it uh, which is quite nice for your bum especially if you're doing long long pedal days or like like active climbs and stuff with the e-bike very good stuff we got the canyon dropper on there um, works like the dream then working your way down we got the crank brothers dh pedals on there nice and strong good big platform um, loving that setup and then moving away to the back so because the conditions are fairly bad I wasn't really keen to do a full clean on the bike so um, the the tires are already a bit dirty but this is a techie chan from Schwalbe Schwalbe tires um, also downhill casing ultra soft um, loving this setup uh, also on the back we got a 203 mil disc rotor from reverse um, and that is basically all the stuff I can add to it um, quick shout out to Vimax Group this is a Dutch brand who helps me out financially so if you wanna if you live in the area in uh, in the Netherlands and you wanna you want to have some help with administration stuff and and like financial stuff um those are definitely the guys to help you out they helped me out at the beginning as well with some of the stuff with my racing part and management of the money and stuff so um if you want any help they're definitely the go-to um yeah and that's basically all it is for the the spectra on i would say um super good bike definitely loving it um, running this on boost all the time super good stuff and um, hope you guys enjoyed a bit of the, the in-depth bit of uh, of this bike and um, it's starting to rain a little bit more and more so I think it's time to get out and do some laps um, and get this thing dirty so let's get to it and uh, do some runs The conditions are so good right now. It's just the leaves which are hanging down, which is a bit annoying. But the grip is so good and what I love about this e-bike is how fast and how quick I can do so many runs especially if you live like somewhere where you have short trails you can do them over and over and over again you just go fast and quicker and um, punch out like a lot of runs in a very short time and um, that's what I usually do at home here with my e-bike, I just turn on boost and just go and punch out like laps for one and a half hour and then it's so good because it doesn't really take that much time and still super fresh afterwards so I love it this tree has a pretty cool entrance between the trees it up high wow super overgrown in just the last couple of weeks it's been super warm and raining loads
So, just doing a quick pressure change. That's one of the things which is very nice about just the air shock, is you can just adjust it on the go. You don't need to take any spring with you. Nice. Just put a bit more pressure in there. Let's see if it stays a bit high in the travel. Because it's sitting in the travel a little bit more than I want, maybe. So let's give it a try. That is definitely well good, having a bit more pressure in the back. Just carries a bit more speed over the compressors and stuff. Which is quite nice. And super quick through the corners as well because it stays nice and high. Good stuff. That was it for today's video. E-bike is clogged up with mud. Super good day. Battery's not even empty and uh, I've done like 1100 height meters, so proper day out. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed um, all the infos about the e-bike. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment them below and I'll try to answer it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.